the New South Wales and Australian governments are spending roughly about one and a half billion dollars a year on road and bridge infrastructure in New South Wales. We need to focus on the quality aspects of those projects to ensure that we get good value for money for the public funds that are being expended. We need to make sure that we're getting good safe outcomes as a result of the projects that are being constructed. Contractors who are delivering projects for the RTA find that when we're working cooperatively on a project we get the best outcomes and we're looking to be able to engage with the contractors in a cooperative fashion and be able to deliver projects with the best outcomes and that requires cooperation of all the parties involved both in setting up the contract and on the project. We expect contractors and consultants to work to give the community the best possible product. By that we need to get in there, be involved in detailed planning of the projects, of putting the right people to it and putting their minds to it um, to achieve the best outcome. The cost of a rebuilding a infrastructure like a road, a bridge or a culvert whilst in service is substantially more than the initial construction cost. As a bridge inspector uh, for the RTA, I go through and inspect all the bridges in, in my specific region. Um, we're actually you know, finding initial problems with the bridges as soon as three years after the construction of the bridge. There are so many issues with road and bridge construction because they're such a vital transportation link for our community. They're uh, subject to very heavy loads and they're designed to last up to 100 years or in excess. So this requires a particularly focused approach to quality management. Pheasant's Nest Bridge uh, was built in 1980 and from pretty much the day of construction we've had problems with the bridge. In 1983 we had to do supplementary stressing. Then again in 1991 we had to add some external post tensioning. 2001 we had to replace the modular joint and then in 2008 we had to replace the bearings. And in the future years we'll have to replace the abutment ties. So we need to look at the, the durability and the workability of the, of the bridge and the design. In the past, contractors have had a design and build and forget mentality on major road infrastructure. We want you now to start thinking of build it right first time. It's very easy to build a defect into a precast element. It's got a low tensile strength, it's very brittle, it can be damaged in transport, in lifting, in uh, storage, or uh, uh, even erection onto the job. Some of the, uh, the hidden defects in these bridges can be uh, a lack of reinforcement cover, which is not immediately visible, uh, honeycombing, cracking, or areas uh, that have no concrete in them at all that have been patched with products now that look very, very similar to the finished surface, so they're very hard to detect after the, after the case. And uh, a bridge with a 100 year design life has been up for very expensive repairs after 20 years. Just recently we did some underwater inspections on a bridge over the Clyde River at uh, Nelligen and we found that there's some corrosion of some steel caissons which has exposed a lack of concrete getting down inside the poles which happened during construction. It doesn't cost more to get quality right, more, more often it's, uh, there's saving in money to, to actually do it right first time, there's the opportunities to save, but certainly doing it right is not going to cost more. A recent example is a major bridge constructed in the Illawarra and we've found that uh, we've got a lot of cracking and leaching happening on the, the precast curb units, uh, which, is a, which is a major concern because it's in a, a severe environment. What we've had to do is use a, a three coat system to help protect the concrete and reinforcement from any further attack from the, the salt water. Precast concrete units are not designed to be replaced, uh, particularly when you're dealing with piles and foundation components. Uh, it's impossible to replace them in fact and sometimes it can cost a third of the cost of the bridge just to do a, a repair that may give you the half the design life. In our industry um, the use of quality management is at best sporadic um, and we, we think that uh, we've got these systems, we demand them to be in place, so why not use them to ensure that we do get the right outcomes. In pavement design and pavement construction, bomb proofing the bottom layers, the subgrade, the select layers, the sub-base layers is a very marginal cost, but it can have a dramatic return in the performance of that pavement. About 70% of the New South Wales network is sprayed seal. Sprayed seals are 
an application of bitumen and an application of aggregate which are used to surface our um, pavements and particularly flexible pavements that dominate our rural net road network. In the end, one of the things that the customer sees and also has an impact on pavement life is the ride quality of the pavement. That's the thing that the driver feels as he drives along. Pavements are the critical aspect of performance of a road infrastructure and there's no such thing as having too thick pavement. When spade seals go wrong, we um, have a situation where either the binder comes up above the aggregate, which is known as bleeding, or the aggregate comes off. And in both cases we end up with a surface which has very little texture. And without that texture, um, there is um, a high chance of skid resistance being lost and our pavements also can fail. The contractor achieves getting a seal right the first time by making sure they do their planning properly, using the proper materials for the job, so materials that meet our specifications, materials that are compatible, and then applying those materials in accordance with their quality procedures which should address our specification. So um, the, the way they put the materials down should be done to a quality uh, project quality plan and it's important that when spray seals are applied that they're done at the right time of year and in the right weather conditions. If the weather conditions aren't appropriate then the seal should be postponed uh, because if we put a seal down today in the wrong conditions, the chances are we'll be back there for the next four days fixing it up, or maybe even longer, and that's at much greater cost than the cost of postponing the seal for that day. During construction, people look at, need to look at the operational aspects of the job on impact during the construction phase. With steel ribbed culverts, for instance, with a 20 year design life, who are farting sometimes earlier, putting compassion gear on where there's lack of cover over a culvert, or even on a pavement where there's inadequate cover over the select or the bottom layers, heavy uh, equipment can actually da damage that piece of infrastructure at the time of construction. But the cost to rebuild them now is maybe 10 to 100 times dearer than had they been built right in the first place. So people who are managing construction need to be aware of it and take uh, preemptive actions to ensure those pieces of infrastructure are protected during the construction phase. Third party inspection is critical to eliminate defects such as uh, poor reinforcement cover or incorrect reinforcement placement, uh, the stressing of the unit if it's a pre-stressed unit, uh, the placement of the concrete to control uh, honeycombing and compaction details and also to be there to monitor any patchwork that's done. Think of yourself driving along the road in the future with your friends and your family. Um, you want to be proud of what you've done, not, not driving on a road that's full of potholes, you, that you know looks wrong, that you've got a big maintenance burden, something that you want to be absolutely proud to say, yes, I built this. So in summing up, build it once, build it right, for life. We're looking for a quality product, build it right first time, avoid the rework and be able to deliver in a timely fashion the product that the people of New South Wales expect. Mm -hmm.